Well, good evening and welcome to our next in the series of Acts. The story continues and um, we're excited tonight. We've got Jordan. Last week we heard from Becca. Becca McCarthy talked about being filled. This week our focus on, is on Brave. Brave. So, brave. Not the film. You ever seen the film? Yeah. Do you know what? I have. Have you? Yep. Yeah. yeah, when we went to Disneyland Paris. Yeah. Leanne made me watch all the Disney films. Oh, it's a great film. Yeah. Marida. Is that in that film? Yeah, that's her. Brilliant. Have you ever seen her dancing? Merida, yeah. on, Merida on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get we haven't got time me. for this. No, we haven't got time we for this. We haven't got time for so this. So we're focusing on <laughs> and being brave. So uh, following our series in our life routes, our reading plan, being brave. <clears throat> and um, are you going to share some thoughts? So over yeah. to you, George. Yeah, so... Um, I think when, when we first discussed this, the, the thing that came to mind for me straight away was um, how we can be brave with our coming mm. to God and with our going. Right. So obviously, at the moment in time with the world and society, I think um, obviously people get offended easily, don't they? Yeah. And I think for Christians, a lot of the time, there's a lot of scrutiny and there's a lot of pressure on what we say. Yeah. And I think that can really affect our confidence and boldness in sharing our faith. Right, yes. Um, but the Bible gives us a lot of reminders about how we can be bold. The Bible uses boldness and bravery, kind of, they go hand in hand, don't they? They do. Um, it gives us a lot of reminders, so I just kind of picked out a few verses. Hmm. But then also I thought about the fact that we can be confident and bold without coming to God. Great, love that. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So um, we can be bold in coming, we can be bold in going. So the few verses that I picked out, uh, the first one, if we were to look at um, coming to God, Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us approach the throne of grace with confidence yeah. so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So I think there are a few, a few things to pick out there is that we can approach the throne of grace, as it calls it. We can approach our Father God yeah. with confidence. Yes. There isn't that kind of worry about what's God going to think of me for this yeah. what's he going to say about this because it's all been dealt with at the cross as we know amen but then also we can find grace to help us so it's an everyday help not just to kind of send us on our way it's to help us yeah in our time of need right and i think that's key absolutely because especially at the minute covid times it's a very needy time for yes. a lot of people yeah absolutely and um we can approach god with full confidence that he will give us the grace to help us out in a tricky time yeah so yeah, that was the first my first thought. Anything to add with all your wisdom and knowledge? <laughs> I think other other versions <laughs> say that we can boldly approach with confidence, yeah. and and so yeah, I think that's a really key aspect of going to God uh, and knowing that confidence and boldness that because of what He's done. But yeah. where we go from that place, which I guess is where you're going to lead to. I'm going to go there. You're going to go there. <laughs> yeah. So. The next verse I had was um, Psalm thirty-one twenty-four, which is a very well-known verse. Mm. Be strong and take heart. Yeah. Um, all you who hope in the Lord. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Mm. So to be strong, take heart, again, it's that constant yeah. reminder that we can be strong in what we're doing and we can, we can take heart. Um, this is that song, isn't there? Hillsong tune that's quite old now, Take Heart. Take Heart. I remember that as a program, a children's program about paintings. Tony Hart, Take Heart. Yeah. Excellent. That's before, Never mind. Before well my before time. your time. Sorry before my time. I, I distract you from... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, be strong, take heart. And again, it's that confidence, it's, it's that boldness, it's that courage, it's biblical yeah. reminders that, you know, mm. um, we can be bold in, in what it is that we're doing. And then an, another verse... Um, it's Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 so obviously we're going back to Moses times and Joshua's times and yeah. um, all the stuff that they were going through when it was coming out of Egypt mm. and it says be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified of them for the Lord your God goes with you yeah. he will never leave you nor forsake you again a very popular and well-known verse yeah. but um, just that reminder in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 to be strong courageous and yes. um, you know, another verse is we don't have a, a spirit of fear. Right. Um, 
but yeah, there's that reminder there that God will, God is with us and he won't leave us, regardless of what it is that um, might be feeling like it's attacking us, what's worrying us, what's got us feeling anxious, mm. be it COVID, be it whatever. Um, God has not left us right. in, this, in this time. Um, so yeah, another reminder there from, from Deuteronomy. And then I started to think about um, Caleb. Wonderful, yeah. And I like, I like, the, I like the story of Caleb, and yeah. I like Caleb. So a bit of backstory for um, anyone not familiar. So there's, in Numbers 13, uh, Caleb is sent out with uh, 11 other people. There are 12 spies to go and survey the land to see if um, the Israelites can take the land. And 11, 11 of them come back and say, the land is great, however, the people that live there are too strong for us. Yeah. Um, to the point where they then start to lie about the land. So people don't want to go there. Like, actually, it's not that good after all. But Caleb uh, stands up and he silences the crowd, it says, and he says, we can certainly do it. And I just love that, that he has that attitude of, do you know what? God is on our side, we can do it. Um, and then in Numbers 14, it gives a little bit of an insight um, into the heart of Caleb. So God says in 14 verse 20, um, Caleb had a different spirit to the others right. and he followed him wholeheartedly and I just I absolutely love that yeah. that what made him confident um, to stand up in front of a crowd and it says he silenced the crowd and I, I quite like that it wasn't his turn to speak he's just yeah. like right settle down yeah we can do it we can and do what it. made him different was his was his spirit and that he followed God whole heart, wholeheartedly and I absolutely love that what a tenacity that he had and, and there you've touched on so the spirit that Caleb had, and, and we talk about in church life sometimes having a Caleb spirit, um, but also in Timothy you referred to not having a spirit of t- timidity. Yeah. Um, and this, there, there is those two different things. And I suppose for us as Christians today, the spirit that we carry may, is a little bit different to Caleb because we grow dependent on the Holy Spirit and the boldness that he gives us to live for him. And yeah. it isn't a spirit of fear or timidity, is it? It's a spirit of boldness and bravery. Yeah. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit is, is described as our helper. Yes. And yes. I, I absolutely love that. I think that's such a, a simple word that yeah. anybody can understand the word help. Yeah. yeah. Like you say to a, a child, you know, do you want to be daddy's helper or whatever? Yeah. They know, it, they know exactly what it is. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit is with us to be, to be our help. Our advocate is a, yeah. another word that is used. But um, I, I just love that help, that daily help. I wonder what day-to-day living would look like if we were really compelled by that sense of boldness and bravery through the power of the Holy Spirit, how different it would look. And we get a glimpse of that, don't we, in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 4, and um, in all the things that were going off, the persecution, the, the threats against the Christians at that time the, in, in the early church, the, the, the early church could have prayed, the disciples could have prayed for safety protection a, a, a locking away a shielding but they prayed it says in acts 4 they prayed for boldness mm. and and yeah we do live in a time don't we where we can um be fearful and intimidated by what people say you should and shouldn't say and tolerate this and that but actually the boldness and love of christ in our yeah. own lives to the power of the holy spirit will bring dynamic changes it did for them yeah and i think as well within the church so we we talk about being accountable quite a lot and yeah we say things like we should be pulling each other up on stuff yeah but do we do we no it's there's that yeah. like i don't want to offend yeah and i think with the help of the holy spirit yeah we can we can do that in the right way yeah and i think our prayer is often quite like god can you sort this situation out rather yeah. than god can you equip me to sort right this yeah. situation that's out. really good and i think once we start to change that dynamic and there are situations don't get me wrong where yeah only god can do it yeah but there are things day to day where i think if we were just to, to pray to be equipped yeah we could deal with it ourselves and yeah i think we'd see a lot um a bit of a different mindset there yeah he- hero of the faith for me is uh, the heavenly man brother yun and he himself faced persecution and um, but he was so devoted to jesus open to the holy spirit and I've got this great quote thinking about boldness and bravery. He said this, the world can do nothing to a Christian who has no fear of man. 
wow yeah imagine living like that and it, as he is he exemplified in his own life living like the early church the disciples did in not having a fear of man and just being open to god and yeah smashing yeah wonderful let me just uh read that prayer that the disciples and the believers prayed as they prayed for courage and bravery and boldness in in acts chapter 4 it said uh, and now O lord hear their threats and give us your servants great boldness in preaching your word stretch out your hand with healing power may miraculous signs and wonders be done through the name of your holy servant jesus after this prayer the meeting place shook and they were all filled with the holy spirit and they preached the word of god with boldness instantaneously after that prayer for boldness holy spirit moved filled them and they moved out in boldness they preached the word of god with boldness what will it look like for us as believers today to make that prayer ours and to live that out yeah, what could the sure. holy spirit do in and through us at this time so yeah. for him? and i think there's going to be a real opportunity with things reopening and people coming back to church yeah. that you know we've met people that have joined our church and have joined churches yeah. online yeah and i think there's going to be a strengthening of churches once well could also be wrong where people just want love sitting online watching church yeah. but i think that people are excited to get back to church yeah and i think once we come back together and we can strengthen each other to do that going yeah. with boldness i yeah. think we can we can see some some stuff going on really i'm excited about that it'd be nice wouldn't it it'd be great <laughs> hey how about you praying out uh, at this time tonight and pr praying for that boldness to arise and maybe in your own homes at this time you can make that prayer the disciples the believers at that time your prayer to to pray for boldness and be expectant that the holy spirit's going to move in boldness as well through yeah. you yeah it'd be great i'd love to pray for that thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you father for for your word and i thank you for its relevance to us today yeah and I thank you for those verses that um we've read together mm. today about having boldness having courage and yeah. taking heart and finding strength in you father god and i pray that in these uh whatever it is that we're going to face in these coming days mm. i pray that you would you will give us boldness father god yeah. to, to preach your word yeah. to to do what's right and to and to speak with love to people as well father yes. god and i just um i just pray that we, we would be people that aren't the eleven that seek to say that you know this is too difficult mm. but we would be that one person we, right. would, we would be that Caleb we would follow his yeah. example to say yeah. with God on our side we can do it yes. and we can see what it is that God wants us to move into yeah so Father God I just pray for every single person watching this wherever yeah. we are whatever time of whatever time of day or whatever day it is yeah but I pray that you would um, you would fill us afresh yeah in your name we pray yeah amen 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 Thanks, mate. Some great thoughts there. It's cold, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a bit fresh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit fresh in here. We've I mean, had a cold drink as well. I know, yeah. Um, so whatever you're drinking at home, uh, be blessed, be encouraged, and maybe continue that as a prayer as we are for a church at this time. Uh, let's be brave, be bold, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Smashing. Cheers, mate. Take care. All right. Be bold. Be strong. For the Lord, Lord God.